growing up in central New York has you know, informed me a lot in terms of how I approach design. There's sort of an openness and a kindness and a down-to-earth quality for me is, is very appealing. I like that sensibility to be a part of my everyday life. Tom is right here at the moment that a look that is very American is taking shape and he's playing a really big role in that. He captures the essence of America in design. It's, it's really beautiful, well-made, accessible product. I gravitated towards design as a young boy. I was very interested in sort of everything that was around me. I kind of char characterize what I do as sort of, um, sort of American chic. <laughs> it's, it's modern, sophisticated, smart, and timely um, sort of vision of sort of the American point of view. I've seen 98 apartments that Tom has decorated under brutal conditions with lousy budgets, each one more beautiful than the last. I've been in several of Tom's homes uh, that are extraordinary. I've seen his furniture collection. I've seen his rugs. He, some people probably think interior designers come in and impose a vision on people, and you never did that. Like some guy with a surfboard, who uh, I love being a surfer, you would right, take right. that surfboard and hang that thing smack on the wall. You know, yeah. you always ask people yeah. for what, what are your favorite what things, are your favorite things? what are your what favorite colors, you yeah. and you would always organize your creativity around the things that they love. Great design yeah. results in a life of more function and more efficiency, and also beauty that stirs your spirit and lifts your heart every time you look at it. When um, my husband and I finally got a nice home, we thought we're going to live our dream and we're going to try to get Tom to, to design our home, and, and he did. It just was unbelievable. I had imposter syndrome for like a month. I was like, whose house is this? Just me just like skulking around my own house. Because the spaces are, they're so beautiful, but they're so livable. I mean, the, the thing about Tom is he takes the idea of design and, and style and having things be beautiful and he makes it a thing that's not snobby. It's just something that makes your life better and he's really good at it. I would want my interior or my design uh, to have all of the same attributes that my best friend would have, which is fun, generous, comfortable, relaxed, cool, interesting, dynamic. I love the idea of the democracy of design at a certain level, mixing high and low. I think that's a really nice sort of way to create this beautiful balance. His colors are always fresh, different, unexpected. He doesn't follow trends so much as he creates them. I think an interior designer becomes almost sort of a therapist for their clients. I've heard him in the most endless phone calls talking clients off the ledge. The relationship is crucial. And I could see people just immediately clicking with, with Tom because of not, not just the beauty and the design sense and the way he <laughs> listens to people, uh, but the humor, which is a, a linchpin of his life. I mean, spend five seconds with him and you'll be laughing. All right, let's get this guy. Well, I first saw Tom um, on Queer Eye for the straight guy. Uh, which of which I was a giant fan, and uh, Tom was maybe my favorite. It looks actually like you're nuts. <laughs> and why you like that? No, okay. it's horrible. Do what you know what minimalism is? Minimal, like minimal, it's like real clean. Yeah. This is bleak. I believe that like the reason Queer Eye really resonated with sort of the general public was that we were approachable, we were down to earth, we were all kind of working together for this common goal, and we were having fun. We had literally like, you have $9 to make over this apartment. What can you do? So you really see that inventive side of Tom and that creative side of Tom. He can walk into a space and see the geometry and know what colors and know what pieces. Just a real, um, a real wizardry of, you know, making it all work. And I thought, well, this will probably, this could ruin my career. And the next thing I know, it hits the airwaves and it was, you know, it was this overnight success. I have my design company. We do uh, commercial and residential design. It's Tom Felicia Incorporated. I also have a furniture and product line, textiles, Tom Felicia Home Collection. I did one book with um, Queer Eye Guys and then I did one about three years ago called Tom Felicia Style and now I have one called American Beauty. Essentially it takes the reader through his process of falling in love with this fixer upper. And this house really is all about being outside, being on the water, enjoying nature and on enjoying the community. The house to me really is a backdrop for a really fabulous life. With his dog he'd go out on his boat and when he needed ideas he would just 
circle around the lake. It was about taking sort of the ugly duck lane that was, you know, really kind of falling apart and bringing it back to life and making it relevant for the way we live now, and, but still being respectful to what it once was. What I loved about Syracuse for me was that it was an art school within a university. I had this incredible uh, collegiate experience. I was in a fraternity. I had friends that were part of the Greek system. I had all my friends from the art school. I'm a visiting professor there now, which I love, and I take interns from the program in New York. And I think he's laying the groundwork for a professorship at Syracuse University. I think that's what this is all about. So he might be showing up in a tweed blazer at SU one day. I'm just saying. You know, there are a lot of designers that want to write books, there are a lot of designers that want collections, there are a lot of designers that want to just do the world, but only a few get to do that, and those few do it because they're really the best at what they do, and Tom is one of those. One of the things that I really love about design is that at the end of the day, it is for people, and it's, um, and, and I, I think I'm kind of a people person. 